and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys and welcome here to the preview of Espanyol against Barcelona at the Camp Nou, the second leg of that Copa del Rey quarterfinal. Who is going to come out on top? Barcelona currently 1-0 down from the first leg, a very, very difficult hostile game away from home in Espanyol. We now entertain them at the Camp Nou and we are so, so determined to go out in this game, really put down a marker, overturn that deficit, which is not a big one. We've done a lot more difficult things than that in the past. We can do this. Even if it is the Copa, we've got the league, we've got the Champions League. They're more important. Of course it is. But this game against our arch rivals, our city rivals, we do not want to give them one ounce of satisfaction. And we will be absolutely determined tomorrow at the Camp Nou to get the job done. The game itself will kick off at 9.30 local time from Barcelona here, as always, is the time where you are currently, guys. And also in the Copa del Rey so far, Sevilla knocked out Atletico Madrid yesterday. Real Madrid play later tonight against Leganes. They do have an advantage in that game, though. So it's all on us against Espanyol to make sure we get through, book our place in the semi-finals. But to do that, we do have to overcome, like I say, that 1-0 deficit. Away goals in the Copa del Rey do come into play, so that's going to be interesting. We can't really allow Espanyol to score. If they do score, we'll have to score three. But at the same time, we've done it in the past. We do score goals at home against Espanyol and we can definitely, definitely do this at the Camp Nou tomorrow. Now, like I said, guys, I am currently away from home right now. So the preview is a little bit shorter than usual and we are going to jump into the squad a lot sooner than we usually would. Usually I go over a lot of facts, but obviously not too much has happened since the last meeting between these two. The only thing that has happened really, Espanyol played a day earlier than we did. They played on the Saturday against Sevilla. It wouldn't be too much an advantage though, simply because in that game at home, they got absolutely hammered and it's really not going to give them any confidence. 3-0 they lost against Sevilla. A really bad loss for Espanyol. We come into this game on fire after that Real Betis humbling really. 5-0 we beat them in their own stadium. So we're coming into this on really good form and also boosted by the confidence of the squad that Ernesto Valverde already has chosen for this game. Anybody who thinks we are not taking the Copa seriously should definitely take a look at this squad because Ernesto Valverde going all guns blazing with his selection here. Ter Stegen, Semedo, Pique, Rakitic, Busquets gets Iniesta returns, Suarez, Messi, Sillison, Felipe Coutinho for the first time could possibly make his Barcelona debut, Paulinho, Paco Alcácer returns, Alba, Digne, Sergio Roberto, Andre Gomez, Alex Vidal, Samuel Titi, and also for the first time potentially, Yeri Mina. So a really, really strong squad there from Valverde. A few things to note, obviously earlier on today we saw the emotional farewell to Javier Mascherano who has officially now played his last Barcelona game. Also also excluded from this squad is Denis Suarez, which does surprise me a little bit, simply because Alex Vidal is in the squad. Now, we definitely want to sell Vidal, so I'm surprised to see him pick there over, obviously, Denis Suarez. There's no Alenia, there's no Arnaif, but apparently, according to the local papers, Valverde very much intent on getting those two into the first team fully integrated by the end of the season. So hopefully we see them a bit more in the coming weeks. But with all that said and done, in terms of my predicted lineup, I wouldn't really stray too far outside what we saw on the weekend against Real Betis, because I think once again from Barca and from Valverde. It was a great selection. We had a great shape about us and we played really, really well. Both in the first half, we sort of eased our way into the game and then in the second half, we really hit them with everything we had. So I wouldn't change an awful lot from that game, especially coming into this one. We need to score goals. We need to be really clinical in front of goal. So I personally would go with Sillison, obviously, the cup goalkeeper, Alba Umtiti Pique, and I would stick with Semedo at right back. I think Semedo with Roberto in front of him midfield, that duo against Betis caused real problems down the right hand side. There's raw pace there, there's a lot of creativity, and I think in a game like this where we need to score goals, Semedo and Roberto is definitely the way to go. Busquets and Rakitic, we saw it against Betis, really, really good at the base of that midfield. Rakitic made some really good forward runs, of course, scored his goal, and was involved in more as well. So definitely those two in the middle of the park. And then Iniesta, he wasn't out with a serious injury, it wasn't something that he would have really lacked a lot of match fitness. He's not been out for too long, so I think he can start this game, even if you have to bring him off after an hour. He can start off to the left, combined with Alba, combined with Messi, great chances for Suarez as well, and I think that team there, very similar to what we played against Betis, just a few changes, I'm titty coming in from the start, Iniesta as well, but I think overall there, that team could definitely get the job done against Espanyol, and what I would also say then is, even if that didn't work, if we need more goals, if Espanyol get one against the run of play, we need to get more goals to get ourselves back in the game, you've then got the option of Coutinho coming from the bench, a really great day, it could be to make his Barcelona debut, and you've got Alcácer as well, a really good forward threat, somebody who can 
bring on, you know, with a few goals as well. So it's definitely some options there for Valverde. We've got a really good squad. Everybody now is starting to get back to fitness. We're just waiting for the likes of Dembele to get back as well to really complete that set. But everything right now is looking very, very good indeed. And there's a real positive vibe going into this game. Yes, we're 1-0 down on aggregates, but that is absolutely nothing. We can do it against Espanyol. We can score the goals to not only knock them out tomorrow, but to really put them back in their place exactly where they belong. So that's what we want to do. Get some goals, humble them, book our place in the Copa del Rey semi-finals and win this game. I will still be doing my reaction videos after the game tomorrow with, of course, the review, possibly player ratings, depending on how we do tomorrow. And the videos will be returning in full exactly as they usually are from Friday. That's the day that I'll get back home and that's the day that videos will continue as they usually do. So thank you, as always, guys. Leave your thoughts on the game tomorrow. What are your starting lineup predictions? What are your score predictions as well? We can definitely do this. I'm really confident that I'm going to go with the score prediction of 4 0 tomorrow. I think Espanyol are definitely there for the take in. They won the first leg really against the run of play. We could have scored that penalty and it could have been very, very different. We saw at the weekend with them against Sevilla. They're not a great side. We can certainly score goals against them at home. No doubt about that at all. So let me know all your thoughts down below, guys. I will see you after the game tomorrow. We can do this. Vesca! El Barça! Barça! Barça!